Hey there ladies and gentlemen. I am out in the boat with Monty and we're paddling down a river in the rain. It's a beautiful rainy day. I'm hoping we get some thunderstorms later, but we'll see. It's supposed to be scattered thunderstorms at some point. I do hope that they start after we get to camp. We're going to be spending the night out here and cooking up some delicious food. It's going to be a good one tonight. It's always a good one, right? Monty's, Monty's living life right now. <laughs> He's got his rain poncho on, ready for rainy weather. We are at where I was last last Sunday's video. Um, got out much better time this time. Uh, the weather's not as nice, but you know how I do love the rainy weather, thunderstorm. So I'm really hoping when we get the tarps all set up and everything, we get a nice thunderstorm tonight or even during the day. I'll take it whenever. I love the sound of thunder, flashes of lightning. I love crazy weather, you know? I'm not sure how long I've been paddling for, maybe 45 minutes so far, but I think we got at least another hour, at least of paddling before we get to our spot. Now we are, we are returning to a spot that I have camped once before. I've um, never accessed it through the river. Ooh, ducks. These poor ducks are going to be so upset at me. Sorry ducks, I have nowhere to go. I know it looks like I'm chasing them, but you know, it's a river. I'm sorry, ducks. Don't freak out. Oh, they're freaking out. Oh, Monty's freaking out. <laughs> Monty, what was that? What the heck was that? Monty, what were those things? Those ducks. <laughs> Poor ducks. <laughs> they're just gonna keep going forward down the river. And that's not going to... <laughs> it's going to be like I'm chasing them the whole time, so we're probably going to be hearing these ducks for a while. Oh, well. We'll be seeing you again, ducks. <laughs> Very soon. So like I was saying, uh, the last time I was camping here, or I camped here the one time, was January. So it's a little bit different scenery. Uh... Definitely different weather, and I'm hoping that something's still there when I get there, and I hope it's still in good shape, because I'm really trying to avoid camping in a tent tonight. It would be nice to be able to use, utilize what is there, but we'll see. I didn't check on it last week when I was here. I just kind of cruise on out because, I mean, you know, let's face it, I was paddling in the pitch black barely see and 
my headlamp wasn't the brightest. So we will see when we get there. We've got a pal for a ways though, until we find out. Really hope I don't have to use that tent. It'd be really nice. It'd be so nice. So peaceful out right now. I gotta pop my head out of my hood and just get a little wet hair every once in a while because it's just so peaceful. Sounds of birds, the rain, the pitter patter of the rain. I love it. Last time I paddled here too, that was my first time going down this. That's why I had no idea what to expect and I don't know why. I thought I could do it in such quick time, but oh well. But uh, I was saying I was pretty cool paddling in the dark. I don't get to do it that often and it, it was pretty cool. And then, and it's, it's, it is nicer going down a river like this, a slow moving river, because you don't really have to worry about where to go, you know? You're on the track. You don't have to worry about paddling to the shore and getting lost, you know? So that was pretty sweet. But it sure is peaceful out. Monty's, uh, Monty's probably got mixed feelings right now. It's not his favorite thing in the world to just get out get into the boat and sit there in the rain but he'll get to run around at camp we're gonna feed him delicious treats tonight he'll be just fine he loves being outside he loves seeing the ducks oh yeah just get right at home Monty. that's a good boy <laughs> that's a good boy but uh yeah he just we just got out of the car you know got in the boat and started paddling so not his absolute favorite but he loves getting outside we're gonna make him a nice spot. Brought out two tarps today. So we're gonna give him a, a good old area where he can relax and not get soaked. Both the both of us. The weather is just great right now. Good boy. It's like, it's not hot. It's not cold. It's just a nice temperature. I think it's like 60. Somewhere right around there. It's a good temp out though. It's probably right close to my favorite. I do like it a little bit colder for because if you decide to do portaging and stuff, um, then you don't sweat at all while you're doing your portaging, but for this, uh, this is perfect. Because I don't have to portage, I just have to carry my stuff to camp. And don't have to go too far. But uh, this is actually my first time, I think, just going down a river. You know, starting on one end, paddling for miles, camping, and just keep, keep on paddling. I think this is my first time spending a night out here like this. Normally I do a bunch of portaging and whatnot, so this is a nice change of pace. I brought a bunch, I brought a bunch of stuff. I got a heavy load this time, but that's totally fine because I'm not, I just got to carry it to camp. Monty's getting the sleeping pad tonight. Don't worry, guys. We got to feed into that SPE sleeping pad entitlement. He likes the finer things. Oh, it's always a beautiful thing when you can collect birch bark without having to get out of your boat. We're gonna need some of this later. We are moving at a much slower pace um, than last time. Last time I was cruising, you know, this time I'm really enjoying it, just taking my time, going with the flow of the river. 
last time I was <laughs> didn't want to spend too much time in the dark so I flew through it um, we've been paddling for an hour and a half I believe right around there and I know we're not near as far as we were last time I'm thinking maybe another hour of paddling to get to our campsite if that but I've only got two and a half hours of sunlight left and it's gonna get dark quick tonight. So I am gonna to wanna to pick up the pace a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm not gonna fly through it, but um, I want time in the daylight to collect a good chunk of firewood, set up my tarps and everything. You know, build a nice bed of coals tonight. The other thing is, is I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> I should have ate more. I do have granola bars. Try to save most of those for breakfast but I might munch on one. I'll wait till we get to camp though. I don't want to pull out my bag now. No, no, no. It's officially fall time now. Early fall, but there's definitely some pretty colors out. They're coming a little bit early this year. We've, got some, we've had some cold nights. I don't think tonight's gonna be particularly cold. It's gonna be a mild night. But it's definitely fall time. The best time of year for camping, in my personal opinion. You'll hear me say this a million times. I love the fall. You know, springtime, you've got, or, uh, you know, wintertime, it's colder out. Uh, there's no bugs. So that's very nice. And winter's beautiful. It's pristine. I love winter camping. Then you've got spring uh, camping. If you hit early spring, it's, it's colder. Cold rain is the worst. Uh, cold rain is not as super fun, but, uh, the fishing is usually pretty good unless you go too early, but there's no bugs. But then you get to, uh, you know, spring, springtime. You get early, you get early spring when the bugs hatch. The fishing is insane, but so are the bugs. And I love, I love camping at that time of year simply for fishing. But the bugs, they can be rough. That's a definite uh, no for a lot of people. But you just got to deal with them. Then you got summertime which in my opinion is the worst time of year to go camping because you do any per portaging, any work, you're just sweating. Now if you're just floating down a river like this, I think summertime would be pretty great for this. Or this time of year, like early, early fall, when it's not too cold. But then you hit fall. You know, no bugs, cooler temperatures, beautiful colors in the trees and everything. Animals got their horns. It's just a beautiful time of year. The fishing's okay. It's good for trout. It's good for other things too, but when it gets too cold, then it's a little tougher, slower. Slower fishing for what I do. But it is a beautiful time of year. It's a very short time of year. It's not super long. Lots of plans for this fall. See how much I can get done. Oh, look at all that beautiful birch bark. Oh, I just want to peel it off that dead stump. <sighs> Nothing better than seeing a nice dead stump with a big old beautiful light feathery piece of, piece of birch bark. Oh, get a log. And then just pulling it off. Oh, yeah. Oh, <sighs> that'll get me going. <laughs> we'll get Monty going too. Hey, Monty. That's a good boy. When Monty's laying down, he's fully set into the canoe mode. So he's good to go now. He doesn't mind the rain. He's he's living life. He's enjoying it. He's relaxing. He's being the Monty. I uh I put a crazy creek down. Crazy Creek, if you're wondering, is a camping chair. But I lay that down underneath him so that if there's any water in the bottom of the canoe, 
he's not just laying in water because that is one thing he doesn't like. If he has got a you know water pooling up and he's just let, has to lay in water, he will stand. He will not get comfortable. So that's one of the tricks we use. Put a little crazy creek down so he's got a little pad. It's like a half inch off the bottom of the boat. It soaks up water, but it's not like a pool. But he is content right now. Oh, it's wet. It's wet. This big old down tree. It wasn't so bad, eh, Monty? I think we're getting somewhat close. So I remember it had a nice bank on this side that was about that high. So when I was here last, I walked along the river. Should be getting close. Maybe another 20 minutes. Our duck friends just flew past us. They must have been felt like they were chased for too long and decided to head back to home or something. <laughs> I don't know how well this camera's gonna pick it up, but these colors are just starting to get so beautiful. Right here, there's some reds, oranges. That's right, Monty. Monty just groaned in um, joy. For the beautiful colors. Mm. Okay, I think we are very close. I think it's right up, right up here. So I was coming here last time. It looked like the area, and it was right after this. I remember this funky conjunction. I just whacked myself on the head with the paddle. Good job. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the same one as last time, and it should be. I've been paddling longer than last time, but it should be around here. There we go. Okay, I need to keep my eyes peeled. I just know that the... It's kind of a little flat, and then it goes up a little hill. This could be it. No. I don't think this is it. Maybe around the next bend. Maybe. I 
Actually, this might be it. Yeah, this might be it right here. All right, we're gonna have to just go and see. We're gonna have to go and see. Do a little exploring. Monty's probably have This looks like the tree, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this does look like it. All right, we drag the boat up into the muck. First, we've gotta see. This is the spot. I'm pretty sure, I'm like 99% sure we're at the right spot. I'm excited. You guys are just as excited as me. Okay. It's so green and different. It's way different than when it's all white. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. He got destroyed. So here she is. The shelter's pretty much finalized. I mean, I could tie all this stuff down, but uh, it's fine. Wind's not blowing crazy. I mean, if it were to blow real hard, some of this stuff would fall off probably a little bit. It fell apart. This is the old winter lean-to. That's a cozy little den right there. Look at that. It, it fell down. It broke. Looks like this broke. This ridge pole piece here. Must have rotted out. It was solid when I put it up here in winter time, but it's been almost a year. So it just must have rotted out. Oh well. Looks like we are not sleeping under the shelters and I was gonna put the tarp over that and hang a tarp right out here. Dang. Dang. <laughs> I was, that, was, that was half expected, Monty. It's okay. We're still gonna have a nice spot. We're still gonna camp right next to this. Yeah, to be honest, it was probably what I thought was gonna happen is the snow was gonna pile on, it was gonna create too much weight. And you know, this was my first lean-to. This, uh, this, this, this trip held a special place in my heart. Um, I thought that the ropes were gonna give out, but they didn't. The weight cracked from the center. So, if I would've had a, a post right in the middle to support that weight on that beam, it probably would be still standing, and we could use it tonight. But that's okay, I'm gonna probably cut down these ropes and we're gonna set up the tarp right around here. So I'm gonna go get my stuff and we're gonna set up the tarps and start collecting some firewood. Okay, so I'm gonna decide on the spot. This looks like a pretty good spot. Right here. Relatively flat. Right next to the old camp. Alright, so we're gonna set up our kind of tarp right here. Not sure if I'll sleep under the tent or not. I probably could sleep under the tent because it's supposed to thunderstorm. Uh, it'd be high winds. If I did, if it, if this thing wasn't destroyed, I was going to put a post under the middle, like I said before that I should have done, just to support the weight. I was going to lay a square tarp over the top and have it drape over the sides, and then I was going to take my big Noah's tarp from this tree to somewhere in here. I was going to have it overhang the fire way up high, and it was just going to be a big old rain, rain-free zone, but that's not going to happen. Old Bessie here, she's done. Should we just do it now? Ah, we'll wait, we'll wait. But, uh, 
yeah, we're going to set up the nose tarp right here near these trees and go from there. It started raining really hard for about 30 seconds there, so I threw on his poncho. It's kind of off and on right now. First things first, though, we've got ourselves a rat's nest to deal with. Like always. You know I love dealing with my rat's nest. Because I'm going to have a fire close to being under it. Maybe under it completely. Or right on the edge. And I don't want it to melt. So we need to hang this extra high. Not so bad today. My teeth. That's not my teeth. Sorry, my teeth. Oh, this is good. Good okay. What are we doing? I guess it's not pouring rain, Mines. We can take this off now. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, here you go. Be a normal dog. Go ahead. Be a normal dog. I'm glad it's not a uh, super intense downpour thunderstorm right now for setting up camp. But as soon as I've got all my firewood and my stuff set up, I will be all for the thunderstorms and the rain, the heavy rain, because it won't matter. But I have got about an hour so it starts getting pretty dark, so I can't can't think around a whole lot. But I did bring out my axe. Probably gonna take a dead standing tree, because that's what's gonna have the driest center. When it's wet like this, it's best to grab stuff that's uh, dead standing, because the rain runs off of it, and it doesn't like soak on it very much. We'll get some dry center when we cut and split. First I'm going to deal with this rat's nest, and then I'm going to tie a few more of these pieces off, but we've got a nice little spot here. I might hang that other tarp right over there, and I'll hang it decently high so we can sit around right here, maybe have our fire, hmm, maybe have our fire over here. Haven't decided yet, but we got the tarp off. This is for you, right here. Nope. Nice spot. You want to lay down. You probably won't want to. He's all intrigued by the outdoors right now. But just in case, just in case you want to rest your bottom. Well, since we've got the tarp set up, now I can record. I can switch over to the DSLR. Stop using the GoPro while it's not crazy. Now, I know I, I've set up the tarp in a way that's going to protect from rain falling straight down and a downpour. The winds aren't crazy and they didn't seem like they were going to get too crazy. Um, what I will do is since it's getting late, I'm just going to set up the, the tent quick and if it starts getting towards dark and it's crazy rain and stuff when we're having a fire, I will set up the other tarp as a wind block. But for now, it's fine. I don't need it. If it does pick up and I'm starting to feel wet or I see water on my other camera, I will do it. But for now, we'll just get off the DSLR and give it a shot. Okay. 
Okay. This isn't for you, Monty. You stinker. But you're a stinker. Not this way. Yeah, it's just a nice light rain right now. Perfect for setting up the uh, tent and the tarp. Now with this, uh, the ground right now is just covered in leaves and like a nice duft. So that's always great for when it rains heavy because it doesn't necessarily pool up and just run right under you. So even though I'm kind of in a low dip, it's not gonna matter too much because the ground's so fluffy. It'll just go right down into the ground. Let's see. We'll put this side over here. Yeah, like I said, didn't want to uh, sleep in the tent. I was preferring to sleep under the shelter, but the shelter is dilapidated. So we are going to use the tent. Now I know I could set up the uh, the tarps and stuff to sleep under it, but there's mosquitoes out and it was more of a nostalgia thing. I was really looking forward to it, but plans foiled. But I kind of half expected, like I said. I was kind of expecting it to not be there. It's out in the woods, anything's gonna happen. Branch is gonna foul something. Who knows? Looks like I've got chopped up firewood though, it's probably all rotten, soaked with water. We might burn some later. Monty is not laying under the tarp. He's laying right outside of it. What a weird dog. Oh, there's a spider right in front of my face. Oh no, he's... Where is you? What are you attached to? Oh, it's that. He's crawling at my face. Just a friendly little spider. Friendly neighborhood spider. That is not farts, by the way. That's the air coming out of my boots. Monty. We're not going in this thing for quite a while there, pal. Quite a while. Alright. Now, I'm going to throw my crap in here. Well, my good stuff, too. <laughs> Monty, come here. I'm going to throw all my stuff in here. And we're going to go collect some firewood. I brought out the axe. We're probably going to take down a small dead tree, chop it up and uh, cut it down. Maybe make some feather sticks and start it that way, but we'll see. Let's get some firewood next. the right size. So, should have a dry center. Ooh, it's a little punky. So bad. Okay. This stuff is looking pretty punky. If it's too punky, we're gonna have to go grab another one. It does look pretty punky. 
just got a lot of moss on it and stuff. Well, it feels okay. Pretty punky. It's like half punky. Alright, we're just gonna get another one really quick. It's another small one. Just to be safe and make sure we have enough firewood. Okay, it's getting dark pretty quick, and uh, a lot of the stuff I found is pretty punky. I haven't there hasn't been many good trees that are uh, there's a lot of big ones that are dead and saying, but I don't want to take a monster tree and cut that up right now. So I'm gonna check this out. This is laying on the ground, this is about perfect size. And I basically, since it's getting so dark so fast, it, I still got 45 minutes till the sun sets, but it's getting dark in this forest really quick. It's gonna get dark in probably like 20 minutes. It's gonna be pretty tough to see. I might need a headlamp, but, so I'm gathering as much near camp as I can so that I don't have to leave when it gets really dark and rum, rummage around, you know, cause it's gonna be super dark. But anyways, let's cut into this. This has just been, this is just laying on its side. And this is a lot more solid than the stuff I've been finding standing. It's been pretty punky. But this... Oh yeah, that's nice and solid, that's nice and dry. This is actually the piece we're gonna use versus the other stuff. This is nice solid wood. And this has a dry, very dry center. And there's barely any soakage on the outside because it just started raining today. So let's bring this back to camp. This whole piece, and this is what we're gonna cut up. Much better, now you can see me. Perfect. Throw that under there. Then we're gonna split it and it'll have nice dry centers. I have no problem keeping a fire going, starting it up. And once we get a nice coal bed, it won't matter what we throw in there, it'll all burn. The mosquitoes are out right now. They're getting me. They're not crazy. They're not like springtime, summertime. They're just a few here and there. But they're biting me in the face. This will just be a little comparison shot for you. I'm in the middle, I just sawed up the rest of that log. Um, it's still really bright out here on the river but once we get back into those woods, it's pretty dark. I do not want to misstep on this tree here. I'm just getting some water quick. All right, now let's show you a clip of just how dark it is in those woods. This is how bright it is when you're in your camp. Right, Monty? It's pretty much dark now. Can't see anything. Oh, geez. There we go. Nice dry centers. side here we'll put the wet bark side down it's not really raining like crazy right now now that's a 
nice dry wood. That's this is what we're looking for. This is the uh, it's got the smooth outside, nice solid wood. It didn't even soak barely at all because it, it hasn't been raining for days. It pretty much started last night and has only been going on today. Wow, so accurate. Monty. Monty. Where the heck did Monty go? Monty. Well, it's not like him to just wander off. Well, <laughs> I just, uh, I couldn't see Monty anywhere and I was like, what the heck? Monty never, never runs off or anything. He's always just chilling. And I'm sitting here yelling and I just don't see him. And then, uh, you know, yell a couple more times, and he gets up from behind the tent, and just walk, slowly walks over to me like, what are you doing right now? <laughs> uh, he's like, I'm just right here. Just relaxing, Dad. I'm just relaxing, Dad. Why are you getting all worried? We're gonna carve up a, a few feather sticks to use as basically our sticks, because everything's wet. But our feather sticks are basically, we'll just, we'll just carve them a little heavy, so they're not super feathery. And we'll do some that are lighter, but we'll use those to, to spark up our fire and uh, keep it going. Then we will get to the fire, oh my gosh. Come on. Oh, why can't I hit it in the center? There it is. Finally. Jeez. Oh. Hey, Monty. Hey there, Monty. Ah, uh, so it's steadier rain again. Uh, and the winds are a little bit there. So I'm going to put my fire right here because it's like right on the edge of the tarp. It'll be getting a little bit of rain on it, but I think I've got enough wood here that it'll be fine. But the rains are picked up. And I've got a, you know, it's dry right above me, so I can sit right on the edge here, man the fire, cook the food. So we are going to make some feather sticks. Let's see. I've got a whole bunch of wood here. Is this the one? I'm gonna make some real thin, some medium, you know, with bigger pieces. Because these are basically, the feather sticks are going to be my sticks. Because the, the inside of the wood is the only thing that's dry. So basically, when you're doing this in the rain, if you make uh, thicker, thicker feather sticks, that's going to be your sticks, your little kindling sticks. And if you make shavings, that's you know your tinder. Essentially, that's what you're doing here. Bunch of these. Those 
ones are a little bit lighter and crispier. These ones are a little bit thicker like sticks. So I've got, you know, two types. I'm going to do probably two more of these and then a few more of these thicker ones. I mean, this is not a beautiful feather stick right here. This is just a haggard uh, experiment is what this thing is. It's, uh, it's, not, it's not pretty. Yeah. But it'll get the job done. So I'm also going to make up some uh, kindling to go with my feather sticks. Just break up some of these bigger pieces. We're basically looking to get really fine small pieces. And you can just keep breaking them down. I think it's easier to do this with a knife versus an axe. You can still do it either way. I just have an easier time with the knife. Just keep breaking it down. Try not to get it too wet, but we're trying to make little stuff like that. Could do it with just feather sticks, feather sticks, but why not make some of this, you know? Look at those little sticks. Perfect. Perfect for starting a fire. Once it gets going, we won't need anything but big old pieces of wood. Okay. So we're gonna put down some wood here as a base. And I'm going to kind of lean over the fire with my body uh, to start so that it blocks all the rain. So let's get out my birch bark. A few pieces that I have. Yeah, this fire should spark up no problem. I'm only going to need one of these little... feather stick here. Just like that. Barely hanging on, but it's hanging on. And that's all we need.
we're just going to keep adding on nice pieces here. Get it built up to a point where it is not going out no matter what. Well that fire ain't going out. I don't want the flame that high. The sparks. Now I wouldn't I wouldn't really want to do a pine fire underneath my tarp like this because there'd be so many pops and sparks and embers flying that it'd probably burn some holes, but this is some hardwood. This is maple. This is all maple. Monty you lay down. Monty you stay under the tarp. It's raining. Monty. Monty, come here. Come here. Come here. Lay down. Come here. Just stay under the tarp right here. That's good. Perfect. Perfect. Good boy. So, I bet you're wondering what we're making for dinner. I'm pretty excited about this one. First time I've ever made this. It is Asian seafood linguine. Oh yeah, we're getting gourmet fancy tonight. I brought out a uh, lobster tail, some large raw shrimp, and some sea scallops. And we are going to make a Cajun seafood linguine. It is gonna be so good, I'm excited. I even brought out a couple chunks of bread, not fancy bread. Monty, you yawning. Not fancy bread, just some uh, the butt ends of some bread that Funk was using. But we're gonna let this burn down and we're gonna get preparing here pretty quickly. A meal like this calls for wine. And you know, you need you need wine while you're cooking and preparing. So, of course, I brought out some wine. I brought out a glass of wine. This wine's weird though. It's actually, it's in a can, it's carbonated, and it's called uh, craft beer. It's a weird wine. I don't, I don't know why this one's called craft beer, but it's a glass of wine, nonetheless. An outdoor glass of wine. It's a spot. So, our fire is going. So that means we gotta get prepared. Monty's gonna be eating a venison sweet potato mixture while I have my feast. So he's getting taken care of tonight. But uh, let's get preparing food. I think I'm gonna have to change out the battery. And I've only got one change out, so we'll see how long it lasts. Okay. Oops. That was just my boot. I wasn't farting, okay? I brought out a Tupperware that I'm gonna store all the stuff in because I'm making a decently big sized batch. I've got ice packs and a little cooler here and Funk has requested that I bring her some home if it is super delicious. So, I will do that. So first things first, we need some time. Keep breaking them. Oh, if you go backwards, that's the, that's the trick. Go backwards. And then we are going to uh, cut up some fresh basil here. What do you think about that, Monty? Basil is so delicious. Put that in there. A couple cloves of garlic. 
flatten them with my spatula. Makes for easier opening. If you smush them like that, if you're doing cloves of garlic, the, the peel comes right off. One of my subscribers on a video told me that one. And that is a neat little trick, and it works very well. I mean, look at this. I just smushed it. Comes right off. There we go. Chop that garlic up a little bit. Let's get that all in that Tupperware. Then we're going to add some fresh parsley. Healthy, healthy portion of fresh parsley. Chop it up a little bit better. the Tupperware there. And then we need some green onions. Hey, he's back. Monty, this is going to be pretty dang good. I mean, yours is going to be good, too. I think you're going to like yours better than mine. But I think mine is going to be better overall. I'm not trying to, you know, diss your food, but I think mine's going to be better. Alright, let's add these all in here. Okay, so we've got our Tupperware of Herbs and uh, the green onions and everything so this is this is ready to be cooked in so now all we've got to do is prepare some of our seafood we've got a a lobster tail here it's a little bit frozen Cooked lobster a few times on the grill. You know when they're on sale, I just—it's pretty much nostalgia. But this is going to be so good. This is going to be gourmet. I think these were $3.99 a piece. I don't know what they were. I can't remember, but it wasn't—it wasn't insanely expensive. Ow. You know, I might not be doing this the best way possible, but uh, it's going to work. Oh, there we go. That's a beautiful chunk of meat right there. Oh, yeah. Let's just gently pull that out of the shell. There we go. That's a lobster tail, ladies and gentlemen. Keep that off to the side there. Oh, yeah. That's going to be good. Okay. Then we've got these shrimp. Now, I don't know how fancy these shrimp are. Them. Hopefully they're deveined. They look deveined. Deveined. So 
add those in here. Oh yeah, those are some nice old shrimp. Still cold. Everything was frozen when I left. They're not frozen anymore. Put these shells back in here. My hands are going to be pretty fishy after this. And then all we've got is these large sea scallops, which are still icy. I got two of these things. Now, I have never cooked up scallops before, so uh, I don't really know what to expect from these. But we're going to just add them in and make a big old seafood meal. See what happens. So we've got a chunk of sweet potato for Monty. I think Ruger's getting the other half of this at home because he can't come out. Oops. Monty won't mind a little dirt in there. I know I always say this, but sweet potatoes are just so tough to cut. I feel like my knife's gonna break. We've got all the potatoes in Monty's pan. Now Monty needs one other thing added to this to make it beautiful. And that is venison, ground venison that came from a deer that me or Funk shot or both deers. That's right, Funk hunts. But uh, that's where this came from. This is just like the scrap pieces and we ground it up. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna dump in some water here. And that is gonna be a gourmet meal for Monty. Mix some with his dog food. Let's get cooking. I am so hungry right now. It is time to cook. Ooh. Since it didn't have to go in a backpack or anything, I brought out the big old grate today. Oh, it keeps sounding like farting. <laughs> that is just my boot, I promise. I brought out the big old grate. Get Monty's food on here. Okay, so we've gotta just start boiling up our noodles. This one's pretty much gonna take as long as it takes to boil up our noodles. So we need to get that going first, get the water boiling. Once this water's boiling, we can start cooking everything else up. My, my boot keeps just making the fart noise. Maybe it sounds like something else, but it's a farting. Ooh, Monty's is cooking just fine. What is it, Monty? Is there a fire in the barn? Monty! Monty, come here. Monty, is there a fire in the barn? What is it? What is it, Monty? Monty's not happy. Something is amiss. You want to eat the stick? You want to eat the stick? You want the stick? Is this your favorite stick ever? <laughs> Just forget about about the the noise you heard. Ooh, it's very close to boiling. We are almost ready to put the noodles in. Okay, let's see how many noodles we can fit in this thing. I can't 
cook them as long as they can be. Oh, 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 we don't want to lose too many noodles. Oops. Oh, man. I'm making a mess. We melted our noodle baggie. Alright, that's about maximum noodleage right there. can't do much more than that but we do got to add on our pan and get the other thing cooking Monty is gonna have to take a side step here Monty's is just fine he will eat every scrap of this it doesn't even have to be cooked that well all right I brought out a big old <laughs> Big old cast iron skillet. Put these noodles off to the side. Monty's is gonna go right there. Okay. Now, to the skillet we're gonna add a little chunk of butter. And some heavy whipping cream. Monty's food is just fine. We'll probably add a little bit of water. We're gonna put his off to the side because this this needs to cook up a little bit. Ooh, that butter's not cooking so well. It's not getting melted. center. We're just trying to heat this up here, this heavy whipping cream with some butter, to get it to thicken a little bit. The rain won't help this dish very much. There's not a whole lot you can do about it. The rain is the rain. So we're going to keep stirring this over this heat until it gets simmered a little bit and it boils down just a hair and then we're going to add in our herbs and everything and I've also got a packet of spices that I whipped up and we will add that up all at once and then once that's simmered for a little bit we will uh, add in our seafood. This is going to be amazing. I think. Our noodles are going to be cooked before anything, but that's okay. We'll keep them off to the side. They'll be fine. Okay. We're going to add in our herbs. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to also add in our spices. This has got uh, black pepper, salt, uh... What else? Crushed red pepper. There's a couple other things I can't think of it off the top of my head at the moment, but it is going to be delicious. Mati, watch out. So now we're going to cook and stir this constantly until this cooks down a little bit. Oh my. Oh my. That smells delicious. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so the pasta... There's that fart noise again. The, 
pasta is done, I believe. Let's just double check. This is not done. Oh, this is getting a little frisky. Oh, oh, that tastes so good. Oh man, that is going to be phenomenal. So I do think that this pasta is done. Unfortunately, it's a little bit early. Okay, the pasta is done. So we've got to drain these noodles and set them off to the side. Okay, now that's gonna make this a little bit, a little bit messed up because we're gonna have cold noodles, but it'll be okay. It's still gonna be delicious. It's thickening it up nice. Okay. Mm. It's time to add our seafood. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Sea scallops. Shrimp. And a lobster tail. Oh ho, 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 man. This is by far the most gourmet food I've ever cooked up in a, a in rainy weather. Oh man. Oh man. Oops. It's gonna be a little bit messy. But uh Oh look at that lobster tail. Oh this is gonna be so good. Pasta meals are just the best sometimes. I do love me a good pasta meal. Oh man. that lobster tail oh look at that thing oh that is cooking up just fine oh man a little bit of dog food Mine is getting close, Monty. We're gonna eat at the same time because we're good pals. You like that, Monty? Sweet potatoes and venison. Does that make you excited? Oh, that is a bowl of food for a dog. You know, there's not much more in the world that Monty prefers over Venice. Are you drooling, Monty? Monty, we we're gonna have such a mess to clean up. It's always because you want to cook so gourmet. Why? Why do you want to cook so gourmet, Monty? Oh, that is a heaping bowl of dog food. Look at that. There's barely any dog food in there. It's mostly just venison and sweet potato. All right, Monty, this has to cool off. And then we can feast together at the same time, okay? All right. That looks so good. It smells amazing. I don't know how long scallops need to cook. I'm gonna break it in half. Oh, they're very delicate. Okay. 
I'm gonna guess that they, they are done. I think this meal is done. They seem to be very soft. Time to eat. All right, all right. I need to stop. I need to stop, Monty. It's time to eat. Oh, I have to apologize to myself. I'm missing a couple little steps here. Toasting my butt ends of bread. And one very important step, which is adding Swiss and Parmesan cheese. A whole bunch of it. Oh, it just hit the next level. Thought it was done with being delicious. No, 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 no. Just got a whole bunch of deliciousness added in. This needs to go back up to the side for just one second as this cheese melts just a hair. Oh my gosh. Glorious, glorious bowl of pasta right here. Oh, not the leaves. Okay. Mm. Got a little extra sauce. It's going to cool off to the side. Okay. Oh, Monty. We need to eat. That is going to be so good. Oh man, let's eat. I don't need this firewood anymore, but I do need this crazy creek to not burn my lap. Okay, I pretty much finished off my two beers during the cooking process, and uh, I am ready to feast. You ready, Monty? This is gonna be so good. All right, go ahead, go ahead. I'm going to start with a shrimp. Scallops are very tender. I have never eaten a, I, maybe I have, but I do not remember eating a scallop before. Mm. Mm. This is so good. I'm making such a mess right now, but I don't care. Let's go for the Coupe de Grace, the lobster tail. The cheesy, creamy lobster tail.
It's so good. Oh. It's salty, spicy, creamy, cheesy noodles, bread. I don't think I've ever eaten sea scallops before. They're uh, super tender. It's like biting into a uh, hmm, like a pear, like a uh, soft, hot pear. It's just like butter. Monty ate every scrap of his. And I have made a huge mess. It's so spicy. It's hard to eat fast because it's so spicy. Got spiders crawling on me. So, uh, whoo! I'm gonna devour some more of this. Let it cool down a little bit. Eat some more. Let the spices go through. Any leftovers I will give to Funk, but uh, I'm gonna keep eating this. But it's so spicy that I need to take a little break here. But I don't need you to see me slopping up and slurping in, on any more pasta. So I will check back in with you when I'm done eating this gourmet meal. And then I'm probably gonna clean up right after because I've got baggies and mess everywhere. I'm so full. I'm uncomfortable. Uncomfortably full. Um, we saw our first flickers of lightning and uh, rumbles of thunder, so the thunderstorm may be coming. Um, I don't think it's going to be an insane thunderstorm. It looks like it's just a scattered portion flying through. But it should be over us any time. I am so full. I've got just a couple sips of beer. I ate too much. Um, yeah. I ate too much. It was a two-person portion. And... Uh, a little uncomfortable but this is what I do to myself I eat too much food so I am going to get in the tent and get ready for bed because I can't stay awake much more I ate too much food and it's starting a thunderstorm so it's a perfect time to sleep so I will catch you guys in the tent let's get going Monty, it's time for bed. Oh. Started a thunderstorm pretty hard there for a minute. I am so full. <laughs> oh, Funk yells at me for uh, eating myself in a food coma. She says I'm. Uh, I guess she doesn't yell at me, but she she says I'm not fun. When I get to a point where I'm at right now, and that is eating too much food. I couldn't finish that off. There was no way. The last time I did this was chicken riggies on a 
bushcraft camp fail that video anyways we got to spend the night out here at our first uh, bushcraft camp or not our first bushcraft camp but our first lean-to this was our first lean-to build this was the trip we did here back in January was Monty's first winter camping and you know it was it was probably it's probably my favorite video I have I'm gonna link it up up here link it up there but if you haven't watched it watch it it's a good one it's my favorite I had a lot of fun with it made some good food but that meal tonight that was phenomenal I ate all that seafood out of there there's only just sauce and pasta left I am gonna try to save it for there was plenty left we got ice packs but I am so fat and sassy right now I need to sleep. Monty, come here. Come here. Come here, Monty. Monty, no. Monty! This little monster just tried to go to my feet and go on my sleeping pad. You entitled little turd. I got you your whole own sleeping pad. You're a monster. He's a monster. He's a monster. Ooh, you're a monster. Just dog. You stay there. Get your own sleeping pad. Anyways, guys. I'm ready for bed. I'm tired. I am full. I am satisfied. That was amazing. I'm going to listen to the pitter pad of the rain pass out. It was a pretty good evening. This was a relaxing evening. It's not too late, but anyways, heading to bed. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Stinky doggy. Good morning. Monty. Hi, Monty. Oh. You've got the stinkiest morning breath. Ugh. It smells like poop. It smells like poop, Monty. Oh. So pretty good, that was uh That was uh relaxing with all the rain. The rain quit wanna say a few hours ago. Now it's just breezy. It's supposed to get pretty windy here. And it's actually supposed to start raining again. That's what I at least said when I last checked, so we're not going to dilly-dally for too long. We're going to get up and get moving. Oh. So, I've been known to uh, sleep in a little bit and let the rain start up again. So, yeah, we're just going to get up, try to beat the rain, at least while we're putting away camp, and uh, pack it up. I prefer if it's not raining yet. I don't mind if it rains or paddling. But anyways, it's time to get up. Let's do it, Monty. Let's do it. 
It's actually beautiful right now. You can see bits of blue skies. I don't know if you can pick that up. The sun's kind of out. But it's beautiful. But, anyways, it's windy. Time to tear down camp. Since I don't gotta do any portage or anything like that, I just gotta carry my stuff back to the uh, boat. I'm gonna most likely just put my all my wet stuff in that garbage bag that I brought and just stuff it in the boat, not put it back in my bag. Because there's no point. Yeah, it didn't thunderstorm until uh, got in the tent. Little bits of lightning here and there, but it's a pretty cool thunderstorm last night. It was raining hard for a minute there. That's a good boy. Likes his butt rubbed. He sure likes his butt rubbed. Goes in between my legs is the spot he, he sits at. He wants that booty scratched. And then he likes to clap his legs. Good boy, Good boy. Good boy. down here near the ground. Just up in the treetops. It was like that last night and yesterday. Super breezy up near the treetops so you can just hear the weed. Trees going crazy, but not down near the ground where we're at. Down super easy. Bessie here served me good. There's only one thing left to do before uh, we get out of here and take the stuff down to the boat. That is cut the ties at this place.
Yeah. That's that. The old first bushcraft lean to is a thing of the past. Hey, Monty. Hey, Monty. That's a good boy. All right, so uh, you can see the fog's getting up in the lens, or it's been up in the lens. I guess that's moisture so trapped in my camera. I need to figure that out before I, before I do much more recording. But anyways, um, I'm gonna pack away the DSL, DSLR now, and we are going to hike down our stuff to the boat. We've got a couple more hours of paddling to do, so let's get to it. Put down my rain jacket here and on the back and my butt because I don't want to get that slight wetness in my underwear that makes your butt itch. I'm not about to get me some butt itch. Very breezy. Okay, we are mobile. We've got a ways to go down this. We're we're at, the, we're at about the midpoint of uh, this river. How low can I go? Oh, low enough, just low enough. But yeah, like I said, we're at the midpoint of this river. I was a ding dong and didn't grab my sunglasses. I didn't think the sun was going to come out at all but now it's it's out and it's right in front of me and it's probably going to be staying there the whole time so i'm going to be sticking to the right shore when i can help it Oh man, that food yesterday, that was so good. That was amazing. I, uh, I really wanted to eat leftovers this morning, but I made a promise. I made a promise to a certain lady that has done right by me time and time again, so I've got to keep that promise of bringing that linguine back for her. I, ate, <laughs> I did eat all the seafood out of it though. <laughs> so it's just gonna be flavored noodles. Uh, I couldn't contain myself with that, that side of it. Monty, your big butt is leaning. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Big Butt Lean. When he sits on the side like this, I have to completely balance him out. And then it's when he does his big shift, when I'm leaning on one side heavy is when it's really fun. But yeah, that was a good one last night. Oh, see, there he goes. Settling in, Monty. We're gonna be doing a whole bunch of this very soon. Going down rivers is nice. I like this. Not having to portage. Very enjoyable. Don't get me wrong, I love portaging. I don't like super long portages, but I do love this little uh, casual paddle. Oh, that is bright. I'm gonna run into locks. Eh. Why? I will never not bring my sunglasses again.
I was so uncomfortable last night. Oh, pasta is the meal that always does that to me. Just eat to the point where I don't feel so good. I know it's not healthy to do that, but can you blame me? Come on. Can you? It's uh it's getting cloudy and dark, dark clouds. Like like rain like it said it was going to. Uh-oh. Hey, I'll take it though. I'd rather have that sun be covered up right now because that thing is blinding me. It is so hard to see. I've already ran into a tree because of it. Should have brought my sunglasses. But if it gets covered up, that'd be great too. Sorry, Monty. Yeah, I definitely think I'm going to do another paddle trip like this, uh, this fall. Not necessarily here. Maybe I'll come here again. It is a pretty spot for the colors. There's lots of... Ooh, ooh, lots of colorful trees, but uh, definitely liking the river paddles. Haven't just haven't done it. A lot of portaging and lake, you know, camping. Not a ton of rivers. Just paddled down them, you know, for the day. Not necessarily camped overnight. But you can cook, I can bring out a cooler and delicious food, so, you know, it's my jam. Cooking good food. Monty, how you doing? He's living life right now. It's gotta be interesting just. You know, he just gets carried around in a boat. I wonder how much he enjoys it, you know? Because he's got to enjoy it. I mean, you're getting to go outside. I mean, he'd prefer to run around, obviously. But, Monty does like to lay down and sleep, so like he's getting to lay down and sleep, but he gets new scenery the whole time. Nice, peaceful sounds. He does have to deal with me yapping the whole time, which I'm sure is not preferred. Rather listen to the nature sounds. <gasps> right, Monty? I'm a yapper. It's a good boy. Nah, he's gotta love it. It's definitely nice to be able to see this section of the river in the daylight. Last time I came down here, it was pitch dark, pitch black, pitch black dark. Super dark, very dark. It was dark out. That's the one. It's very dark out. We gotta be, we gotta be making way. We've been paddling for an hour, over an hour. Hour 15, hour 20. But, uh, yeah. We'll be coming up here soon to the end. Probably another 45 minutes, maybe if that, something like that. Right, Monty? Don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat, I don't rock the boat, Monty. Rock the boat, I don't dip the boat over. Rock the boat, I don't rock the boat, Monty. Rock the boat. Oh, oh, oh. Alrighty, guys. I can't have too much further to paddle. Um, we cooked up some delicious food, spent the night out last night, got to listen to some thunderstorms, play in the rain a little bit. So that's going to wrap it up for this one. 
So as always, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button, and I will catch you guys in the next video.